Okay, and I know some people, oh, you just strict, oh, you old school, no men over, all of that stuff. Oh, but look at me. That's how I am where I am. Okay, you can do all that talking, but look at the fruit. Okay, you might say, well, that's strict. And that, and you know what? Another thing is, we have gotten so out of the old, and I'm not for all these traditions and all this stuff, but some stuff you need to hang on to because when you remove certain traditions and you remove certain boundaries, that's to our demise. Back in the day, well, we don't do it like the old folks used to do because they don't, you know, you can go to movies, you had to wear the long skirts, you had to do this, you had to do that, and oh my goodness, it was just strict. But you, but you didn't have a lot. I mean, of course, it was stuff going on because you can wear a long skirt and still be a... Yeah, so you can you you know all of that can happen, but 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 for a lot of that stuff, it helped a lot of people. Okay, those strict boundaries helped a lot of people, and I'm not saying you got to go back to all those stuff, but some stuff you just need to make a part of your life to keep you in order, to keep you walking before the Lord, to keep you knowing who you are and whose you are. Okay, so you might say, well, that's strict. You don't have no man over. You don't do this and you don't do that. I'll be that. Okay, if it will continue to keep me um, pleasing before the Lord I'll do that I don't give don't give room to your flesh okay I'll be old school I'll be that okay I, I, but I like my boundaries my boundaries have fallen in good places and they keep me in line with the word of God in closing Let's not be hot and ready, okay? You you can't be saved single, hot and ready for sex, okay? It is it's improper for God's holy people, okay? Bring your body into subjection, okay? And to the spirit of the Lord and to the will of God, get on your face, get in his face, okay? Remember, whatever you feed the most, that's who you're going to be led by. Feed your spirit, man, okay? If you're hot and ready and you're acting on it, that's because you've been feeding your flesh. Get out of your flesh. Crucify your flesh. Deny yourself. How do you do that? Cut that TV off. Get that music out your ear. Stop hanging around with those people who don't care and they catering to their flesh and they opening doors for you um, to cater to your flesh and all this other stuff. And they don't care about the work of the Lord. You know, um, um, Ephesians chapter 4 um, and I'm using the message Bible. Uh, this verse is so, it's just so powerful to me. And I like how this, sometimes the message Bible just makes it so blunt. In verse six and seven of chapter four, it says, don't let yourselves get taken in by religious, taken in by religious smooth talk. God gets furious with people who are full of religious sales talk, but want nothing to do with him. Don't even hang around with people like that. And that's it. Some of the people getting caught up by people in the church. It ain't even the people to work because you already know what they like. But you getting caught up in the church with these people who got a lot of church talk, but they hearts are far from them. Okay, hearts are far from him. Okay, so feed the spirit. You will come out of that. If you want to, if you say, well, how I know this, I know I've been doing this. I know I've been, well, how do I do it? Feed your spirit, man. Kill your flesh. Deny it. Fast. Pray. Get on your face. Start being around the people of God who are serious about their walk with the Lord. And be willing. Here's another key. Be willing to do whatever it takes. Okay. If the Lord says, get rid of all your relationships, be willing to get rid of them all in order to pursue more after him. If he said, cut that TV off for the next 365 days, cut that TV off. Uh, you got a problem with pornography and cable and all this stuff. Call your cable provider up and cut your and cut your cable off, okay? Uh, uh, the people that you hang with, the things that you do, even the places that you go, even if there's certain attire that you put on that puts you in a certain mindset, oh, I'm sexy, oh, I'm all this other stuff. Maybe you have to get out of that stuff, too, to even have your mindset right. And I know, like I said, I know some people, oh, you just, oh, you. But what I'm saying is you should be willing to do what it takes in order to maintain okay in order to maintain in order to please God in order to not give room to the enemy okay so let's not be hot and ready but let's be whole and patient okay okay be patient allow God and time to work on you and form you into his image that's why you haven't got your husband yet that's why you haven't got your wife yet okay because he wants to time with you to form you and to shape you into his image okay it's time now to stop having hindsight testimonies okay what's an example of a hindsight testimony well it wasn't until after i got with him or got with her that i learned that he was this and 
<coughs> excuse me, and that he didn't care about me, and he was just using me. Okay, but if you, uh, but if you would have waited, okay. So we need to stop having hindsight te testimonies and start having pre-sight testimonies. If you would have waited, you would have heard the Lord. If you would have had patience, okay. If you would have brought your body into subjection under the power of the Holy Ghost, you would have waited, and the Lord would reveal that the man was a dog. He would have re revealed that that woman was with everybody. He will have revealed it, but you got to be willing to wait on him and want his will more than you want your flesh to be satisfied. Okay, so let's stop having hindsight testimonies and let's start having pre-sight testimonies. Okay, allow God in time to work on you and form you into his image to prepare you, value and treasure yourself. Oh, my goodness. Oh, work, uh, ask the Lord to work on your heart, to work on your mind, to show you who you are as a woman of God and as a man of God. Value and treasure yourself. If you don't value and treasure yourself, you allow anything and anybody to come in your life and do anything to you and you accept anything. But when you start knowing who you are and you value and treasure yourself, you, are, you, won't, ex you won't continue to allow certain things and people to treat you any kind of way and do all kind of stuff to you. Okay. Allow the Lord to prepare you. Okay, there's a reason He's taking these times to prepare you. You don't want to get married and then get divorced. You don't want to get in a relationship and spend years and years and giving yourself to somebody and and even months and day, whatever the time limit is, giving yourself to somebody and they turn out not to be the person that the Lord has for you and to use you and abuse. Now you got to now you got to Make a comeback. You got to come up out of depression. You got to come up out of shame. You got to come up all of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? You and come on now, y'all know what I'm saying. Once you, once you get in your flesh and you follow your flesh, I've been there and done that. Well, now you looking back and say, Lord, if only I would have listened. If only I would have waited. If only now you got to. Now it's even more harder to make a comeback. But even those of you today who who's been there, who has done that. Make your comeback. It's okay. Deal with the shame, but make your comeback. Don't leave the Lord. Okay. Deal with whatever it is. If you got pregnant out of wedlock, deal with it. Okay. Love your baby. Love, love, give, you know, teach him, teach her. However, deal with it and make a comeback. Okay. Don't stay where you are. Get up in the spirit and walk on. Okay. Uh, you're worth too much to be jumping in and out of beds and those who are not with those who are not your husbands and wives. And like I said, and they leave you a mess. Okay. Value yourself. Okay. From make a decision from this point forward. Okay. The next person who I'm who I'm going to lay with will be my husband and wife. And it's because I have a ring and a covenant. Okay. I have a ring on my finger. Okay, to signify the covenant that we took before the Lord. Okay, uh, if you have any comments, questions, or anything like that, please feel free. Let's talk about it. Like I said, most people don't want to talk. They don't want to be real. What's the deal? If you have questions, if anything like that, I'm here. I'm willing to pray for you. I'm willing to take you to the Word, uh, produce videos, however you want. Okay, so I wanted to start off the series with this. God bless you. And... Uh, Know your worth, okay? And let's not be hot and ready, but let's be made whole and patient.